woken up this morning by the sound of the river coming down in bigger flood. This is the kind of floods we need to help the salt and the sand, which is in the pools at the moment, and push it further downstream. And as you can see, the water flows quite fast. The hippos don't like fast flowing water. Some of the year, with the rains, you get these little cotton stainers. It's a beetle. You often find them on the trees during the daytime. Like now, they got a fright, so they all moved. If you walk through the long grass, there's a very good chance you could stand on a snake. Hey, guy. It's very beautiful. They actually have a red tongue. And when they're in a tree like this, you'll notice them from the tongue. See, like he is, he's completely still. This is a millipede or chongololo as it's known here in Zimbabwe. They can grow quite long, they're totally harmless. Eaten by tortoises, civet cats, high in calcium. This butterfly is called a yellow pansy. This is a wild tortoise. It's called the specky hinged. It's quite a small one. When I walk like this, it's not just recreational. I'm actually looking for snares as I walk. This is a perfect area to snare. This is a beautiful spider. I'm a bit nervous about spiders, especially if they go on me. But this one is totally harmless. She's called a garden orb spider. And it's actually very, very attractive. This time of the year, you've got spiders, you've got stinging nettles, You've got long grass. Walking in the bush is not as nice as during the dry time. Now we're now approaching our small pan. This is the pan we built in the 1992 drought. It was our first pan. It's rather small, 21 feet wide, 45 feet long, 6 feet deep at the deepest end, 2 feet at the shallowest. But this small pan, which is cemented all the way down and was bulldozed initially, we hired a bulldozer, um, and it's cemented and rocked. As you can see here are the rocks which we actually covered in cement so that we could seal it. This small pan saved the lives of the last 13 Toby hippos as they had water to keep their bodies moist in the extreme heat and we also built a trough so that they had clean drinking water. Now as you can see it's quite natural looking and inside there's a tiny crock, there's a few terrapins the elephants drink from here and the hippos still use it whenever they're passing by. It's here in case there is another drought. It's a backup. And we've maintained it and kept it as in good a condition as we can. And as it's now 2011, we built it in 92, we obviously did something right. There's the clip springers. They have feet like goats, they can climb the rocks without a problem. Pan. The first one I built in the drought and then we built this a few years later as a backup because by then we had doubled the amount of hippos practically. So now if there's ever another drought as severe as 92 when there's actually no water at all in the river there's these two artificial pans. This one is about half a k from the Turbu River. This is Kuchek in the pan been raining 30 mils and obviously he came here into the pan. There's elephants in the background. <laughs>